Welcome back to Credit Inside. Today, I will be reviewing the A6 Gel Keanu 14 in mauve gray and uh, cream colorway. I'm saying that for a reason because this did not match what was on the website and kind of got me a little bit upset. A little bit in my feelings. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's get into the shoe. Uh, the outsole is this gray and then mauve color here. Cream, mauve, gray, green, mauve, gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, the traction on these is really good. It's really nice. Uh, not much to worry about. This kind of works as a web or kind of like shank plate, torsion plate. Keeps the shoe from going in on itself. You would have to put a lot of pressure on it to shatter that and mess it up. It's not going to happen. You haven't seen it once yet. Um, up midsole is cream. The upper is this gray, which is nice, and then mauve gray. Yeah. Uh, not a, whew, these are nice. Huge fan of them. They're really good. Um, the only complaints are it doesn't look exactly like the product images on the website, but otherwise they are really good. They're really clean. They're really nice. Um, the materials on them are decent, and I'm actually someone who prefers the suede upper versions of the Gel Keanu 14s because after having a few of these metallic mesh ones, um, this would be the only other Joe Count 14 I currently have because I sold the majority of them earlier this year or last year, just, you know, profiting it off the hype. Had to get my coin. But um, yeah, um, they do crease up quite a bit and this is just after a few wears, kind of why I'll wear them like a few times and then I have to throw them in the box, stuff them with tissue again, just to get the creases from being too bad in them. But yeah. Uh, you don't really have to worry about with the suede. You can just wear them, keep them by the door, keep wearing them, and they don't really crease up the same. I mean, they do start to a little bit, but like, this is just from like a very little, small amount of wear. I promise you, I'm gonna wear these like nonstop. It's not gonna crease the same. I might even do an update video just because I'm petty about that shit. Um, but yeah, these are really clean, really nice. Um, great pair to have. And yeah, go true to size with them. They fit pretty nice they're pretty wide foot friendly i would say it's part of the reason why they crease up like that on the toe box area but the length of them is very true to size the width is just a little bit wide it's kind of hard to tell but they are a bit wide foot friendly if you have super wide feet you might still have to go up that half size go with your usual a6 shell piano sizing but yeah for a lot of people who've probably seen these on the website and want to know what they look like in hand this is what they actually look like like I don't know what A6 be doing. And it's not the first time it's happened with me to where I buy a pair of their shoes, I get it in hand, and I'm like, that's not what I purchased. Like, that's, that's not, the, like, you catfish me here, homie. Like, I didn't, I didn't think I was getting a purple and gray fucking GLK on 14. I mean, it's not purple, purple, but like, you know, I'm on many here probably. Like, they got collabs coming out right now. Come on, like, the 14, or the, Air Jordan 4 just came out. The 3s came out like a few months ago. They got more coming out. This looks like um, Ama Manier got with Asics and they had a collab and this is their shoe. And like, I bet it would go crazy for her, but like, damn, I ain't want that. Like, I just wanted my first pair of Count of 14s that had a cream midsole, gray upper, and you know, like maybe some dark mesh just so it wouldn't get dirty fast. But like, nah. I mean, it's still darker, but like, I don't know. I gotta make some ones. I'm gonna wear them. I'm gonna keep them. They're not going anywhere. They definitely gonna be beaters now for sure. Not beaters, but they're gonna be in daily rotation. Yeah. So, anyways, clean pair of shoes. Still like them. Just, I wish Asics would do better with their images on their website. Product images. They're always off. And then also, my box came in Detroit. I know you don't wear the box, but like, I stored in it. Like, shit. <laughs> what do I want to resell it? It's my option. It's my choice. You know? Some of them hard earned, hard earned money on them, but it is what it is. Still clean pair of shoes. I'm bitching a bit, so I'm gonna end the video. Still awesome. Alright, peace. Enjoy the shoes. Bye, bye, bye. I don't give a fuck.
Yo, if you watched the whole video, uh, I really appreciate it. Um, it was a little bit unhinged throughout the video. Sorry about that. Pretty sleep deprived, the toddler and all that. If you watch my Orient Day video, you already heard me say some stuff about that. But yeah, um, really nice pair of shoes, really clean. Um, thank you for making it throughout the review. Again, ASICs, fix your goddamn product images, lighting, whoever the hell you have taking the pictures. People in factories take better product images off of fucking potato phones than y'all do with guessing high grade ones. I don't know, but like, get them to where it actually looks like this on the website, to where you can see it is a purple color. Okay, like that, that might sway some people away from buying it. And it might get the people who want to buy it to actually buy it. But like, don't, I don't know, color change it, because that's what it looks like you're doing. Because they've done it before to where a shoe have a white midsole. And I swear, I know for a fact that midsole was all white cream. And they're playing off of the hype, like what people want. Trends people follow. And it's like, dude, that's not cool. Like, it's not fair. People work hard for their money. Anyway, I'm going off on the thing again. It's just not cool. I don't like it. I'm going to wear these. I'm keeping them. Don't comment. Hey, give it to me, bro. You're not fucking getting it. All right, peace.